Many of us spent 2015 adjusting our expectations accordingly as game after game got delayed. Luckily, it's now 2016, which means a bunch of those games are actually coming out. Probably. Personally, I'm a little peeved about not getting The Legend of Zelda for Wii U last year, since a big chunk of the reason I decided to fork out 400 Australia dollars for a Wii U was to play that game. While it's awesome that there's a new 3D open world Zelda around the corner, we have been waiting on this one for three years now. 2013 was the first time we heard a new Legend of Zelda game was in development, but it wasn't until E3 of 2014 that we saw the first gameplay footage, and we've mostly just been sitting tight since then. On March 27 of last year, producer Eiji Numa announced in a video that the game would be delayed to 2016, saying, Our priority is to make it the ultimate and most complete Zelda game. Nintendo Shigeru Miyamoto did assure gamers that the game is still set to arrive on the Wii U, even though Nintendo's new console, the NX, is nearing release. If you spend much time on websites like GameSpot, which I'm hoping you do, you will have had a hard time missing out on all of the Uncharted 4 chatter. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End is due to mark the, well, end of Nathan Drake's saga. We got a tease the trailer just before the end of 2013, and in 2014 it was announced that The Last of Us co-directors Neil Druckmann and Bruce Straley would head up the project going forward. At that time, the release window was placed sometime in 2015. That was then shifted to March 18 of 2016 and then to April 26. Exactly what the end might entail for Drake is still unknown, but we do know he'll be exploring the brave new world of dialogue options, which will be A, kind of neat, or B, needlessly shoehorned in. Your choice. Homefront The Revolution was another one of those games where the developers knew way ahead of time that their slated release date just was not going to pan out. Homefront's sequel won't be continuing the story or style of gameplay from the original game, according to developer Dan Buster Studios. Dan Buster is the game's current developer after prior developer Chaos Studios' parent company THQ sold off the game trademark when they went bankrupt. The revolution takes place four years after the events of the original occupation and follows a resistance movement against the former North Korean army occupation of Philadelphia. In March of last year, the game was delayed into this year in order to give the team, quote, every opportunity to turn it into a best-selling title. A closed beta for the open-world FPS is due on Xbox One in February, while the game will hopefully hit shelves on May 17. PC strategy fans will be glad to hear that after a long wait, XCOM 2 is now well and truly on the horizon. Just a few weeks off, in fact. This one had been getting all kinds of positive press from early previews, so the announcement of a delay in August of 2015, which pushed the game back to February 5 of 2016, was a bit of a blow. Firaxis claimed they needed more time to polish the game before release. XCOM 2 will let you take on aliens with a more customizable team and introduce new combat features which emphasize small-scale guerrilla tactics. Since the narrative picks up after Mankind was defeated by the leagues of alien foes at the end of XCOM 1. Finally, after suffering what must be close to Watch Dogs levels of unachievable hype, we've got Tom Clancy's The Division. The MMO shooter charmed loads of people at Ubisoft's E3 press conference in 2013. It takes place in New York after a pandemic led to widespread disease and panic. Your job as part of the Strategic Homeland Division is to combat the threat brought about by the outbreak and attempt to piece the city back together. The Division was originally due out in 2014, but in May of 2014, that was pushed to 2015. And almost exactly one year later, Ubisoft announced that they were delaying the game again until 2016. The full release is now due on March 8, but you'll be able to get your hands on the also-delayed beta early this year. Let me know down in that comment section what delayed game you're excited to play this year and thank you so much for all your comments on last week's GIST video. We are changing up the format a little bit this season so be sure to let me know what you think of it and we'll see you again next week.